Good morning. My name is Dan. Thought I'd bring a couple more tips about how I've organized my Scratch Built Xena 701 project. Uh, I'm talking about plans today. The way I set up and handle my plans and uh, kind of try and organize the paperwork that goes along with building while you're building. My plans, 11 by 17. I keep them in this style binder. That way it opens up and everything's organized, get a little more protected. I went ahead and laminated all my plans when I got them just to protect them a little bit more. Um, plus it allows me to take a Sharpie basically and mark on the plans themselves and then if I want to later on I can wash that off a little bit of Windex and those will wipe right off again. Yet it lets me know when I finished one section of a project, built one part, I can mark it off that I've made it so I don't make duplicates of them. I can go back and through if I batch cut a lot of parts out of say 025 aluminum something like that just to store them and break them down why well, I could mark off that I had already built that that piece and uh, then stored it away and yet it was it showed that I hadn't built them again when I finished a complete assembly or a page why well, I went back and I checked off the completed page to show that that thing had been taken care of I can make any notes right on the plans or something um, some people I know have bought a second set of plans I think you can buy those at a reduced price from Zenith as a as a second working set of drawings the way I look at it is if I'm going to have one set of plans in the house that I'm looking at the evening or something and if I want to make notes I still have to get those notes back to my working set of drawings so it was easier for me just to laminate them get them all put together and organized there um, working drawings, the disc that comes with them um, shows all the assembly procedures and, and what I've done with mine is I printed them all out, got them all in a three ring binder. I did print them in color, these were laser printed, but anyway, printed in color I think is better than black and white, it gives a little more detail, it's easier to reference. I've seen some stuff that I've, I printed out in black and white and it's just a little harder to understand with color, you can kind of understand a little bit more. And then I tabbed each section of what was what was done. Um, I put them all in a bigger binder, and then the parts that I'm actually working on at that time, I'll take that section and put them in a in the smaller Zenith binder. So I've only actually got the parts out in the shop that I'm working on or, or taking care of at that particular time. Um, my my builder's log. Um, I just use a spiral bound notebook. Uh, mine are all handwritten, date, time I did it, what I actually worked on. Um, 769 hours right now. Uh, easier for me to do that. Some guys are keeping them on the computer. I like those handwritten notes. It's easier for me to do it right there in the shop while I'm doing it rather than have to, at the end of the day or partway through the day, go in and, and enter what I've done on the computer. Um, use an iPad out in the shop. Uh, that way I can take my pictures for what I've accomplished right then. Plus I can um, use that for my internet access if I need something rather than having to go to a laptop. So. That's the way I do it. Some people will work. Everybody's got their own ideas. I certainly don't know the only way to do it, you know, but maybe it gives you some ideas about how you want to organize your scratch build project. Thanks for taking the time to watch.